your fingers. A rainbow stag beetle. It's beautiful. And also, you can see two smudges on its back. Excuse me. Can you uh, can I ask you a question? Of course. Why did you have a day off last Saturday? Ooh, I didn't have a day off last Saturday, but I did have to help some new English speakers. Who? So I was I had to speak with some with with some new students, new English speakers. Do you like this beetle? I do like this beetle. I think it's beautiful. Look at the colors. I thought you went to your sister's birthday. That was a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Oh, by the way, how old are your two sisters? Oh, good question. Uh, they would be, one was born in 88, so 88. One, I think, is 33. Okay. And the other is, I think, 31. Okay. 33 mm -hmm. and 31. Do they go to college or do That's they still go to primary school? Oh, no, uh, they're adults now, so they are finished college. Oh. Yeah, they have jobs. They oh, <laughs> do you think this dad video is very colorful? I do. Um, in, in my screen, it looks uh, like there's some green parts and maybe some red or orange parts. Oh, by the way, it has got purple eyes. Purple eyes? Beautiful. They are so um, they are small. You can't see them. Uh, yeah, they're too small for me to see. I wish I could see them. Oh, by the way, He's... here's something to show you. Look! Oh, look at this beautiful writing. Can you hold it up a little higher? Okay, me? up! Ah. ah, who is this for? Well, it's for one of my teachers. Well, she's my favorite. I mean, Rita. Rita is my favorite teacher, and she is so hilarious! Okay, I'll tell you the last time she was hilarious. The last time she was hilarious is, well, she held two pots of water and she wanted to teach us mathematics and then she wobbled because she's got shoes with heels. And then she said, whoops. But then she still managed to walk onto the stage by wobbling with her high heel shoes. Okay. Oh my goodness, so she had the pots of water and her high heels? Okay, I don't mean really high-heeled shoes, I mean little shoes with heels. Okay, uh, she used course. Tupperware pots to collect the water and when she put the pots onto the table, well, she, at least when she put the Tupperware pots onto the table, she didn't wobble. Ah, that's very good. <laughs> I think she is the funniest teacher I've ever met. She is so hilarious. <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay, and also there's another teacher in kindergarten and she was so hilarious. Okay, the last time she was hilarious. Okay, she wanted to teach all of us English, but then she forgot what to say. So she asked me and I told her what to say and when she went back onto the stage to say something, okay, she said, oh, I forgot it. And so I told her again and then she forgot it again. So I had to go onto the stage all by myself to say the things that our teacher wanted to say. Okay, so that teacher, <laughs> she, well, she wasn't good at English. Isn't that hilarious? No, <laughs> a little bit funny, 
but it's too bad she could not remember. <laughs> and also, okay, I'll tell you another joke, but this one is not a bit funny. Okay, she wanted us to, okay, to walk on the balancing beam. Okay, it's shaped like a bridge, but not like a bridge. It is more like a great big stick. Well, it is a bridge, which is shaped to look like a stick. And so, okay, at first when I walked on it, I wobbled and nearly fell down. And also she put an obstacle onto the bridge. So, when I tried it, the next time, I crawled first and then when I walked to the obstacle, she took it away because, well, she thought that I might fall down, fall down again. And then, I didn't fall off. Good for you. That's very good. What was the obstacle? Okay, it is shaped to look like a plate. Well, it doesn't look like a plate to me. It looks more like a shield. Ah, uh, and you, sorry, you had to step over it? Um, we have to step across the shield. Across it, I see. What? That Good was my you. least favorite activity. But my favorite activity, okay, I do like softball. Okay, I did get to be the guard for base three and the catcher and the batter. So when I hit the ball mm -hmm. and before I could run to the base, the teacher said that I was out. And the next time, I was the guard for base three. Okay, and then I did try to be the catcher. So when I, okay, I missed the ball. Oh no, <laughs> did you have to run and get it? Um, no, that means we are out. I am the guard for the third base. Ah, so uh, sometimes we might say the third baseman or third base person? I'm the first, okay, base person. <laughs> At least the third um, base, it does look a bit weird. It has got a white square and a yellow square. So I can't say we need, okay, can't say that it is the third base, more like third bases. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Which base do you like most? First, second, or third? Yep, third. I like third. And also, there's the home base. And also, the batter. Okay, maybe the batter could stand in the home one base. Mm -hmm. And okay, I did try to be the batter. Okay, when I practice playing softball, Okay, I didn't hit the ball, I hit the stick instead. The stick? What stick? Okay, there is actually a tripod for, you know, the softball to stand on. So I hit the tripod instead. And for the ah. last time, okay. I thought I was going to hit the tripod again, but I hit the ball. I see. Uh, okay, so um, let me make sure and see if I have a photo. Um, it's uh, like, we, we call it a T. The ball sits on a T. Yes! It's, it's a bit like ah, golf. Mm -hmm. uh, very true, very true, but taller. Okay. Oh, by the way, teacher, <laughs> may I type something? Of course, here's a pen. Okay, so... Okay, when I was looking for a picture of a griffin to draw, they showed a picture, okay, wait, of a, wait, okay, a griffon, wait. Oh, with H, yeah. And there ah. was a griffon, looked, which looked like a white seagull. That one is called Fensu, by the way. Mm -hmm. That 
Griffin. That Griffon looks just like a seagull. Interesting. I've never seen and, one before. And anyway, that Griffon was also in the song called "It's Time to Be Awesome." There, I see it now. I googled it. That one is yes, the captain, right? I remember the pirate captain. The captain of the the pirate. Yep. Exactly. And actually, I thought that that Griffon looked like a seagull, and yeah, it looked just like a seagull. I thought so too. I thought that it was a seagull <laughs> yep. until you told me it was a griffin. <laughs> it's a griffon, not a griffin. Wait, griffon rhymes one. with griffin. They're similar. They're different spellings of the same words and pronunciation of the same. And also, do you know that parrot rhymes with pirate? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Very true. They both end with an at sound. <laughs> okay, not I a did see a pirate before. Sorry, not a pirate, a parrot. Oh, I was, I was. You saw a pirate. Sorry. Okay, I did see a parrot. But, I mean the bird. Okay, it was orange, was, red, and green. And that one did have a long tail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it very big or small? Maybe little. Little? Uh, uh, could it say words? Like uh, repeat words and mimic people? Mm, yes, but I haven't heard it say that before. And oh. also, that one looks very cute. I love parrots. I think they're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So, okay. Dee, I'm so excited about the next part of the story. Okay, look. Oh, what's this? Okay, a griffin. Oh, can I see a little closer? Okay, how about this big? Oh, that's a good griffin. Beautiful. I love the colors in this one. Yep. And also, I've written something too. Okay, like this. Oh, a little closer? This. See, I see pencil calligraphy. Uh, oh, I can't see the bottom ones. Okay, how about this? No, it's not. Quite okay, clear you can look up. Uh, it's the the lines are quite thin, so they're not showing up on the camera. Okay, penmanship and cut masterpiece. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And you did this one in pencil? Yes, I did. Wow, beautiful. See this? Ah. Uh-huh. This is great. <laughs> Wonderful. Well done, Jamie. It's beautiful. Okay, I'll read chapter eight. Wow, this room looks like a room fit for a teenager. Anisha has got her china dog, her china kitten, her china rabbit, her diary, her four cinder candles, a vase with a rose in it, and her books of cos cosmetics. Alice paused. Does Anisha let you wear some makeup? Yuck! Who wants to wear some makeup? I don't want to wear some makeup on because I'll look stupid. Oh, wow. I'm going to make a note, Janie. Uh, we can either say wear makeup or put makeup on, but not wear makeup on. No. Yeah. So on is only with put, not with wear. Okay, so let me change it. Okay. But I'll have to let this one you know, to climb onto a book. Okay. 
It climbs onto the book now. <laughs> no, 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 don't Is fall. Oh. Okay, it doesn't, it didn't fall. Okay, so I'll. <laughs> okay, so the cup just boxed it. Okay, I'll make. Okay, I need a pen to draw a line. Uh -huh. Oh no, some is okay. Some some is fine. Uh, it's here on. Oh. Okay, some is okay. Some is okay. Some is okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So just on, we have to use with put. Great. So wear some makeup. That's fine. Oh, by the way, teacher, do you ever wear some makeup? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I do. Like lipstick? Uh, maybe lipstick, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so the beta I showed you earlier, okay, it has got some smudges on its back. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you kiss somebody, a smudge goes onto their cheeks. From the lipstick. <laughs> yep. And the cosmetics have a disgusting smell, except a spray can of spring water. It hasn't got a disgusting smell. I said, this room smells like heaven. Would you mind if I try applying some of her hand lotion? Said Alice, fingering as his, whoops, a delicious bottle of hand lotion. Oh, by the way, hand lotion is a bit like cream. Okay, it is hand cream. A bit like hand cream. Oh, it fell down. The beetle fell down. Okay, I'll put it back onto the book. Okay, just finished. Nearly there. Nearly there. Um, okay. Nearly done. Oh, good. <laughs> so I'll put a packet of tissue paper here so that it won't, the paper cup won't fall off. Oh, that's good, I think. <laughs> that's very helpful. Do you know what is spring water? Spring water? No, well, I know spring water that comes from a spring, for example. No, it is actually mineral water. I see, yeah. So a lot of mineral waters come from springs, uh, fresh water springs. A bit like hot baths, right? A little bit, yeah, but very clean so we can drink it. <laughs> Not like ice gross water fountain. That is even worse. It's even worse than horse trough water. Okay, so oh, no. last time when I tried drinking it, okay, I did get a stomachache. Whoa, it fell off again. Oh no. The beetle fell it's off. Very... Well, it's, it's a, a bit nippy beetle. now. No, 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 don't fall off. Okay, I'll put, okay, put it like this. Okay, I sorted it out. Oh, very good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you think our school's tap water is dirty? Well, I don't know. If you say it comes, it's like horse trough water. That doesn't sound very good at all. <laughs> and also, okay, our school actually has got a pool. Okay, the pool doesn't oh. look a bit like a pool to me. Not like those turquoise pool swimming pools. They've got very dirty water with mud and dead leaves in it. Oh no, it sounds And like also rainwater. Ah, rainwater too. It's an outdoor pool. Yes, it's an outdoor pool. Mm. But also good for the sparrows if they're going to take a bird bath. 
Mm, that is very true. And also, who takes care of the swimming pool? Um, I'm not sure who takes care of the swimming pool. Maybe nature takes care of the swimming pool. Okay, the wind does blow some dead leaves into the swimming pool, and mud. Maybe the wind does blow some mud into it. Oh, it wants to climb onto the cup. <laughs> Okay, I'll let it climb onto the cup. Okay, so I think it might end up walking tightrope. Tightrope over what? Okay, I mean the cup's surface looks a bit like tightrope. So, oh, it didn't uh, do tightrope. Like yep, it looks a bit like tightrope walking. Time rope walking is oh. so okay. It is so horrible because you might fall oh, off. What? So you need a stick to stay onto the rope. Okay, yeah, so walking on the balancing balance. beam is a bit like tight rope walking. A little bit, no doubt. Okay, I'll keep on reading. Okay. You should ask Anisha first, I said quickly. By the way, Anisha is in Mom's dressmaking workshop. Let's go upstairs, Alice. Perfect, well done. So me and Alice went upstairs to Mom's workshop. We walked into Mom's workshop. Mom, this is my best friend, Alice, I said triumphantly. I know. Why are you here, Alice? Anisha is sewing a dress, said Mom. I want Anisha to teach me how to apply on her hand lotion, said Alice. Okay, I'll teach you how to apply on my rose hand lotion. Let's go downstairs to me and Jenny's room, said Anisha. Well done. A small change, uh, Janie. When we say apply, we don't need on. So we can say apply or put on. Uh, okay, no I'll say... Apply on. Oh, it's walking tightrope now. <laughs> Hello. Here. <laughs> Hello. It's walking tightrope. <laughs> Whoa. No. <gasps> oh, yes. It landed on its feet. Very good. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I'll cross this out and cross this out as well. Perfect. Well done. Okay, so the beetle is just like a cat, right? Well, cats don't <laughs> actually fall off. They land on their feet. It's true. <laughs> and sometimes some beetles are just like dogs. Well, they don't land on their feet. They fall off and end up six legs in the air. Oh my goodness, are, are they okay? Well, they will if they have something to catch. Okay, if we give them a stick, they will hold on to the stick. Ah, that's good. Oh, by the way, do you, do you think time rope walking is exciting? I think so, and the people who do it must be so talented. And uh, they have great balance. Yep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Me, Anisha, and Alice went downstairs to me and Anisha's room. We walked into me and Anisha's room. Anisha walked towards her shelf. She picked up her bottle of hand lotion. Oh, not again! It's going to do time for walking again! Oh, look! Oh my goodness, what a talented beetle. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, it landed in the That's tissue really paper. That's good. It's very safe. <laughs> okay, Alice stuck out her right hand and Alicia gave Alice one drop of her rose hand lotion. It's very easy to apply, okay, not apply on again, some hand lotion. Mm -hmm. Stick out your hand, get a drop of hand lotion, and rub your hands with the hand lotion. Okay, did you know that one type of hand lotion is made out of the materials of pearls? 
Okay, the pearls are actually the right beads that you put onto your necklace. Oh no, not again. It's going to fall. Look. Look. Yes, it didn't climb the cup again. Okay, okay, I did see some talented beetles perform suddenly before. Okay, so one of the male stack beetles is actually a bit like a bareback rider. Okay, I'll tell you how does it do that. Okay, so when one male stack beetle fights with it, it swings it onto its back. Oh no! Oh! It didn't land on its feet, it landed on its back. The beetle. Oh. Okay. I'll give it a little push. Okay, not like this. Okay, like this. Um, no. Okay, finally. Okay, so one more stab beetles. Okay. It fights with another stab beetle. And okay, the weaker stab beetle. It climbs onto the one that wants to hold it up. Okay, and it jumped onto its back and then rolled on it. And it didn't even notice that that one is riding on its back. Oh no, it's like riding a horse. Yes, a very strong male horse. Okay, there's one stronger male stag beetle and one weaker male stag beetle, but the weaker one is very nippy too. Okay, it rides onto the stronger male's back without it noticing. And then, when the stronger male stag beetle wants to eat some jelly, that one is still on its back. What does it do? It just rides around on its back? Yep, and sometimes it if that one does not want to let him ride anymore, it shakes it off, the weaker stag beetle off. <laughs> a bit like oh, riding a find, horse. A little bit, yeah. I have to find some YouTube videos of that. I no, that doesn't that. actually happen. Well, oh. it doesn't really happen. When male stag beetles meet each other, they'll fight. Okay, I mean, they do jousting or wrestling. Jousting is a bit wow, like with their two knights fighting. Well, they don't have swords or horses, so they just do wrestling and jousting too. They use their horns as weapons, just like swords. <laughs> wow, amazing. Do they use their mandibles? Oh, yes. They do. Mm. And also, sometimes the stronger one wins on the weaker one wins. Wow. How does the stronger, how does the weaker one win? Um, probably it hides. Like, if there's a hole, it hides, and the stronger one will get confused of where does the weaker one go? Hide and seek, I know. It's a bit like playing hide and seek. And the stronger one wins by holding the weaker one up and holding it to the other side. Oh, just oh. like holding a ball. <laughs> no doubt. Wow. That's amazing. They're a the bit like one is very clever. They're a bit like Okay. They're a bit like athletes. No, not athletes. They're a bit like sumo wrestlers, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I have a question for you. Does judo mean wrestling? Does judo mean wrestling? J-U-D-O. Yeah, uh, you mean like is judo the Japanese word for wrestling? Well, it's actually the Taiwanese word for wrestling. In Chinese, it means the gentle way. Okay, I do really? think it's a bit like wrestling. I watch the Olympic Games on TV. Mm -hmm. Well, there are 
two competitors and they wrestle with each other, just like wrestling. It actually, it it's judo. A, yeah, yeah. A bit like Olympic. A, okay, a bit like wrestling. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so the Olympic Games. Also, okay, I found out something interesting by watching Ants Canada that there's also a Rhino Video Olympics game. They do running really? and wrestling. Oh, I need to watch that. I like the Olympics. Okay, so the Olympic Games of the Wild Beatles, they've got different rings and they have got the different types, you know, okay. The Rhinos will speak us names on the rings. And there are different teams too, like Team Hades or Team Zeus. Okay, they are the Rhino Beetles. And also the female ones. Sometimes the female ones, yes. Okay, the owner, well, one of the games, in one of the games, which is wrestling, he places a female to distract the two males that won't fight. And actually, his so, rhinoceros sorry. beetles did die because of old age. Oh, that's too bad. How long do they live for? How many years? Do you, do you mean rhino beetles? Probably a year, but stag beetles live two years. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the drawing, right? Yeah. Would you like to ask me so, a question? Okay. No, no, but I see, let's see, is this Alicia? Yes. Look, she's and wearing a puppy t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> Here's Alice? Yes. And this is a and drop of hand lotion. This is mm -hmm. hand lotion. Uh, here. Yes. Also, oh, do you know yeah. why I drew this? Oh, why? Because in that story, Anisha was actually stealing my best friend away. Oh no, that's not good. What's gonna happen? And also, did you see the red wings I drew on my hair? They are actually hairbands. Look, I'll turn my back. Okay, see the hairband? Mm -hmm. Ah, like that. Very good. Okay, back. And also, did you see the ponytail? <laughs> I've got the ponytail just oh. like yours. Here. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, the heaven just went loose. Okay, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I get a drop of hand lotion too, Anisha? I asked Anisha. Anisha looked surprised, but she said, okay. I stuck out my right hand. Got a drop of hand lotion. Oh, no. I think it's going to oh, fall. Oh, oh, be careful. Okay, we should knock. Okay. <laughs> Got a jar of hand lotion, took Zeus off the shelf, put Zeus on. Wait, wait onto the carpet. The carpet gently, and I rubbed the hand lotion onto his elite form. He didn't look like a boring or origami rhinoceros beetle. He looked like a real rhinoceros beetle. Okay, so for pro, for elytra, you say elytra. Mm -hmm. Yes? That's right, yeah. Okay, I have seen the elytra of a stag beetle and the rhinoceros beetle before. Okay, the neutron is a bit like the shell or the armor. Mm -hmm. Well, when they open the neutron, they fold one bit of the protective bit of their wings into their body and then open their wings and then whee, they fly off. <laughs> Very and good. sometimes they are good at steering themselves. A bit like steering a helicopter. Oh, fantastic. If you don't steer very carefully, the helicopter might go bump 
into our tree. <laughs> Definitely. Look. Oh my. Do you see the white thing? That is just the light. Uh, here? Yes, it is the light. Ah, shining off of the beetle. Yes. And did you see the hand lotion I'm walking onto the rhinoceros beetle's back in the story? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here it is. Here comes Alicia again. Here? Yes. Also, by the way, do you know what does grumpy means? Grumpy? I don't... Okay, I just want to ask you this word. Uh-huh. Yeah, so somebody who's grumpy uh, maybe isn't angry, but isn't in a very... Does it mean that this person course. likes to complain about things? They might like to complain. They have a kind of a bad temper. They're irritable. <laughs> Sometimes we say they're crabby. Crabby? A bit like crabs, right? Crabby? Oh, yeah. It sounds like crabs. <laughs> but that's not true because crabs aren't a bit grumpy. Yeah, it's true. They aren't really very grumpy, but... I think it comes from a time when maybe people thought crabs were grouchy because they have their claws. <laughs> <laughs> grouchy? Okay, there's actually a book called The Grouchy Ladybug. Okay, so oh, there's a ladybug which was very grouchy. Okay, it is a picture book written by Eric Carle. Mm -hmm. The same as Hungry Caterpillar. Yes. I hope you will re read this book, The Grouchy Ladybug. In it, it has got a ladybug, which is very grouchy. I know it. I've seen it before, but it's been a long time since I read it, since I was a child. But by the way, teacher, <laughs> talking of grumpy, I've seen it from... A book. Okay, this book. Okay. Oh. Look, this book is so hilarious. <laughs> so in this book, the main character, Tom, has got a very grumpy older sister. Oh. What happens with the grumpy older sister? Well, his grumpy older sister likes to boss him about mm, or I tell see. on him. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, very good. Okay, look. This word is object, not object. <laughs> mm, it's true. Anisha didn't when we, object. When we make it a verb, we say it differently. Does it mean to complain? Yeah, if we object to something, we kind of complain or disagree with something. I just thought that I was an imaginative tomboy. They're still chatting about cosmetics. And, whoops, Alicia told Alice about this boring stuff about when you're exhausted, you should spray some spring water onto your head or your face and one type of hand lotion, which is made out of the materials of pearls. Whoops, the materials. Anisha looked like she was stealing my best friend away. Whoa, it's going to walk tight rope again. Oh my goodness, this is a very adventurous beetle. Well, it, you can also say that it is talented. I think so. Very talented too. Talking of talented, so when I was looking at the griffin pictures, well, there's a picture about a griffin in My Little Pony. Okay, that one is called Gabby, by the way. And it said that Gabby was a very talented griffin. Ah, how was Gabby talented? What was Gabby's talent? I don't know. Probably she shoots a rainbow out of her back. Like Rainbow Dash? Wow, that's amazing. I mean, probably. Well, I don't know if it might happen in a movie. 
Oh, we'll have to see. <laughs> Very good. She went, oh, so and, and oh. I'm, I'm worried okay. about Alice. Okay, can you tell, can you ask me a question? Of course, any question? No, I mean, did you mean that Alice is going to... Okay, do you mean that yeah, Alicia is going about... to steal Alice away? She yeah, went, I'm worried about Alicia yes. stealing Alice away. Okay. What's going to happen? She went on and on and on and on about cosmetics to Alice. She just talks about boring stuff. I will dare to you when she said the words makeup and cosmetics and attractive. Okay, do you know how to pretend to you like this? <sighs> That is so hilarious. I'll play with you, Jenny. Anisha is telling me some stuff and interesting facts about cosmetics. It's fair, seeing as she told me how to apply. Wait, it's apply on. Okay. Apply on. Wait, it's apply. Her hand lotion said Alice calmly. I wanted to play with Alice. I even thought of a new superhero. Oh my goodness. Okay. Super Alice, Mighty Jenny's best friend, who will have her own adventures with Mighty Jenny. Also, by the way, talking about the word grumpy, I'll show you the picture of the grumpy older sister. Okay. Okay, just a minute. It's so funny. Look! <laughs> Look! Oh, she's super grumpy. Yeah, just like the grouchy ladybug. No doubt. Wow. And no, 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 Nas. It was supper time. I told that. Wait, it's Alicia, not Alicia. And Alice, that we're going to the living room to eat our place of supper. It was conchiglie, a type of dried pasta, but we eat it cooked because we prefer to eat cooked pasta, not dried pasta, which came in shapes of corks, seashells. We went into the living room to eat our place of pasta. Okay, I've tried eating conchiglie at school before. It tasted delicious. Ah, it was delicious. Uh, is there a sauce, like a tomato sauce, or a cheese, or a... No, it hasn't got any sauce. But also, the next time I ate pasta, well, it was rainbow pasta. Well, not exactly rainbow pasta, but it has got orange, yellow, and green. It... Okay, ah. I think it has got some sauce. Okay, it tastes delicious! Two. <laughs> Very good. I love pasta. I so wanted Alice to copy the way I ate my plate of conchiglia. I ate my plate of conchiglia enthousi enthusiastically. But she just giggled fondly and copied the way Anisha ate her plate of pasta. Anisha ate her plate of pasta slowly. Okay, I'm just trying to make the effect like this. Snowy, a bit <laughs> like good. snow mo, like speaking the word in snow motion. How about this? Snow motion. Ooh, that's pretty slow. Slow motion. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> also, there's also an idiom like this: snow as a snail. Ah, very good, yeah. Does it mean that this person is waiting, is wasting his or her time? Um, yeah, it does. It usually means that they are, they're going too slow. Yeah. So they could be using their time better. Just like our teacher. Okay, he is as slow as a snail. The last time he was though was teaching our class a lesson. The other class have finished their lesson and are already teaching another lesson. So the teacher was a bit slow as a snail. 
as a snail. <laughs> okay, I've seen ah. snails crawl before. They are so slow. Very, very slow. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. And wait, oh. by the way, I want to look at the picture. Okay. Okay, just a minute. So I made the effect. Okay, those dots are actually confetti. And also this one is a piece of string. Ah, why? I just want to make the effect. Just like special effects for the movie. Just like the worst thing about my sister trader. Okay, that trader has got super good special effects. You know, like lights, neon lights, and other types. Just like, you know, when you point your finger at somebody, light doesn't actually come out of your finger. That was just a special effect. Whoa! That one fell off! Okay, I'll put it back again. Look, yeah. Whew, that was close. He looks very cozy. This is a she, not a he. Oh, oh she looks very cozy. Then, after <laughs> eating right. our supper, I told mom that Alicia, Alice, and me are going back to me and Alicia's room to play. Alicia said that she was going to show Alice her three unicorn lamps. Okay, by the way, do you have a unicorn lamp in your room? No, I don't have. I have a star lamp, but star? no unicorn. Okay, unicorn lamps are actually lamps which are shaped to look like unicorns. Mm -hmm. There are even ginormous unicorn lamps, like a unicorn's head. Oh, I would love that. I love unicorns. Like me. Though I like griffins too. And mm -hmm. flying horses. Like Pegasus. Yep, and also pig shoes. There are creatures which are shaped to look like flying lines or an animal which looks like a hybrid animal. Oh, wow. What are they called again? Pig shoes. P-I-X-I-U-S. Okay, they do have the head of a dragon and the body of a lion and wings. These are fantastic. Which one would you like? Very good. Okay, I did see a picture before, and sometimes they look just like ordinary lions. If they are stone ones, they look just like lions. Ah, stone which ones lions. Look more like majestic. Yeah. Which? Yeah, are, are they? They are majestic. Which ones look more like dragons? Well, one of the paintings, okay, I mean, one of the pictures have a painting which show a picture standing a bit like on a canyon and it has got the head of a dragon, Very good. the body that of a lion, so and the tail of a lion. And also, Very good. some of the pictures Look cute. Well, cute one of the pictures oh has got a very little picture. It was green and blue. It looks so cute. So wonderful. I like cute. <laughs> Good. Ah, I see there's a Okay, his eyes look corn. just like that. look like that and it's so cute and it actually can grow it can glow when I open the picture I mean I took a look at the picture it glowed as if it has got some mm. light fantastic I love glow things things that glow in the dark beautiful okay 
Alicia said that she was going to show Alice her three unicorn names. I told Alicia that I wanted to play too, and I walked towards my shelf's cupboard and took out my golden hairy plush Siberian unicorn. Alicia said that I could play. Ah, all right. And also, by the way, okay, some pictures have horns. Two horns or one horn? Ah, very good. Okay, so one type, well, there are two types. One type is in charge of wealth, the other type is in charge of duck. Interesting. Which, the one with one horn, what is it in charge of? Uh, maybe wealth. Well, and with two horns is luck? Yep. But some ah, pictures don't have horns. Ah, ah no, no. Just not the ones I've seen. The ones I've seen mm -hmm. don't have horns. They look more like lions with no horns. If they look a bit like mountain lions. And yes, they do have got mini wings. And they can... <laughs> well, the types of thing look a bit like... Well, they look like lions and also they are in charge of wealth. The ones that spray water out of their mouths. Uh-huh. They're also in charge of wealth? Yes, water is also wealth. Oh. I see. Good. Oh, I'm learning so much about them. Very good. I actually saw that from Wikipedia. If I read Wikipedia, maybe I can learn more. Okay. Anisha has got a pink unicorn name, a golden unicorn name, and a silver unicorn name. The three unicorn names... Excuse me, I think something is tickling my nose. So I think a speck of dust is going to tickle my nose. Okay. Whoa. I need a tissue now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hmm. Thanks a lot. Okay, it did get out. Pinky the pink unicorn lamp, Goldy the golden unicorn lamp, and Sylvie the silver unicorn lamp. Where are the buttons? said Alice. The buttons are on each unicorn lamp's horns, said Alicia, switching on the buttons. The buttons are on Pinky's, Goldie's, and Sylvie's horns. Okay, did you notice something with the pronunciation? Okay, we say buttons, but if it is in English, we say like this. Buttons or buttons. It is. Yeah, it's almost like an E. Buttons. A bit like it's saying buttons. Bottoms. A bit like <laughs> bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well done. But Jamie, you have very good pronunciation. Well done. Okay, how about another one? Okay, this is... Whoa. This is going to be hilarious. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Buttons. <laughs> Buttons. That sounds like buttons. Like if there was an N. I mean M. When you say buttons, it sounds like as if there was an M. Just oh, like, like mm, whoa, like this. <laughs> buttons. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> buttons. I know. When you say buttons, it sounds like buttons. Okay, do you like the mm. picture? Look, Alicia and I have got lipstick on. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> look, these are the unicorn names. Pinky, Goldie, and Sylvie. And look, they've oh, also got cool. saddles on too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done. And this is Alice, yes? Yes. Yeah, good. Okay, good. I've got the oh, unicorn to too. Actually, it's a plush, golden, hairy horse with a toothpick stuck on its head. It isn't a boring common unicorn. It's a Siberian unicorn. 
I said triumphantly. Alice looked surprised. Jenny's just pretending, said Alicia quickly. By the way, I'm going to get my three bottles of perfume and my spray can of spring water. My unicorn lamps need to have some drinks. Oh my goodness, okay. And Alicia went to get her three bottles of perfume and her spray can of spring water. I chatted away to Alice. Do you think my plush Siberian unicorn looks cute? I said. Yes, I think it looks pretty, said Alice gratefully, touching my Siberian unicorn's fur. I've always wanted a plush unicorn, but I had to make do with several plastic unicorns. Then, Anisha came back with three bottles of perfume and her spray can of spring water. Oh, by the way, look at this. When we say bottles, I said, okay, I said like this. How about this? Bottles? Like this, bottles. Bottles. <laughs> That's all it is. How about this? Bottles. With two T's, bottles. Yep. Bot and then when I read it, it sounds like bottles. Like this. Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Bottles. Bottles. <laughs> of perfume is made of peaches, the second bottle of, of perfume is made of dandelion flowers, and the third one is made of mint leaves, said Alicia. Ooh, those sound like beautiful perfumes. Great reading, well done, Jane. Have you got these types of perfumes? Um, not peaches and dandelion and mint, but other ones. Like what? I have one that Mm, I have lavender? one that smells of, not lavender, uh, I have one that smells of like flowers. I have one that smells kind of sweet and like sandalwood. And I have one that smells like, um, oh, what is it, or orange flower? Orange flower? Like sunflowers? Uh, no, it's a flower that it comes from an orange tree, I think. And it's kind of orangey, but kind of like flower. Marigolds? Uh, no, not quite. Uh, let's see if I have a picture. Excuse me. Do you let your two little sisters use those perfume when you were young? Ah, I didn't have perfume when I was young. Then, no. did you let them use your stuff when you were young? Sometimes, yeah, of course. Then, do they ask you first? It's good if they ask first. I might be a bit angry if they don't ask. <laughs> okay, so do they mock up your stuff? When you go to Not school, usually. do they mock up your stuff? <laughs> Maybe sometimes. <laughs> Did they mark up your stuff when they, you go to school? Uh, no, because they go to school too. Okay, and also I remember the time when they shouted, BOO! Yeah, <laughs> and also another time they go, OW! Like this. <laughs> It's true. Uh, they are very tricksy. <laughs> and so I wonder okay. what's going to happen next. Can you give me a trailer for the next part? Okay, so Alice, well, she did get stolen away by Anisha. Huh? Yes. She did. Oh, no. Anisha stole Alice away. <laughs> and then, oh yes, oh, we did play with her unicorn names. And then, so in chapter 9, she, okay, Anisha invited three friends. 
to the to the home to their home. Yep, she invited three friends to her home, and okay, I did say that she played with her plastic toys right in front of her friends, so that she feels like oh. she is a baby. Okay, babies do play with plastic toys a bit like Lego. When I was little, I did do that. I did play with plastic toys. Just like, okay, we did play the Elsa and Anna doll. Okay, so Anisha had the Elsa doll and the Anna doll, but I didn't have any dolls. So I gave the, the dolls to her. So I had oh. the Lego bits. I see. Do you like Lego? I love Lego. I yes, Lego so do I. I was a kid. And also Lego. Oh yes, it's so good. I like playing Lego, but now I'm bored of Lego like this. <laughs> I do like Lego a lot because you can build many stuff out of them. Also, you can also create your own creatures. It's true, I like it too. You can build anything you can imagine. Like a lizard? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for our lesson today. That's all our time. So thank you, Jamie, for sharing the story with me. And I'm so excited for the next part. Oh, by the way, we'll see you later. Excuse me, did you know that the worst thing about my sister has got a movie? It has got a movie oh. in a channel. And did you watch it? No, I haven't had the chance. Okay, you can try to watch it by typing on YouTube like this. The worst thing about my sister, movie. I will check it out. <laughs> and also, yes, um, it's true. It's a bit like the story. Well, I've seen the cover of it before. The cover of the video. So, it's got Margie in front of the bunk beds and Melissa behind her so and also it looks a bit strange because just so you know Marty is the little sister and Melissa is the big sister so in the video so okay in the cover of the video I saw that the people who made the video had a mistake Marty should be the little sister instead of the big sister and Melissa should be the big sister instead of the little sister. They switched their names. No, I mean they switched themselves. Oh my god. Like Marty turns into the big sister and Melissa is the little sister. Well, that's strange. It's a bit strange. I'll have to watch for that. <laughs> Okay. Yep. But I hope you have a good okay. weekend, Jamie, and we'll see you next time. Oh, also, in the video cover, I saw something hidden under a duvet. Okay. Yes, it is one of Marty's pretend animals, a whale, on her oh, duvet okay. cover, which is blue. And then I also mm -hmm. saw her big sister, Melissa, wearing a pink t-shirt and a pink vest. Oh my goodness. And Marty was Marty wearing a grey and white striped well, it looks a bit like a sweater and a jumper. So I think she is wearing a grey and white jumper. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll have to look for it. <laughs> okay. Bye.